Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. Now we're going to discuss the control panel. You should know that making changes to some of the items shown in the control panel can seriously alter your computer and how it functions. It may even cause your computer to not function at all. So do not make changes to any of the settings if you do not fully understand the implications of changing the settings. Also, unlike previous versions of Windows, in Windows Vista when you go to make changes in certain areas of the program that would affect the operation of the computer, especially in the control panel, you may see a small permissions dialog box that appears asking you if you would like to continue and you will need to enter the command password for the administrator account in order to access that feature. If you are logged in as an administrative account, then you'll only need to enter in your own password, but that's the new user account control feature that comes in Windows Vista and is enabled by default. And if that's the case, just make sure that you click OK and enter the password in order to access these features. Also note that for some of the user accounts, such as standard user accounts, the reason that that is put into place is to keep unauthorized individuals from making system-wide changes on the computer. So if you are going to be making changes in the control panel, make sure you're logged in as an administrator in order to make it as painless a process as possible. Now the control panel, once again, is used to change settings in your operating system of your computer. So in this screen, you'll be able to change settings for keyboard and mouse sensitivity, speaker volume, display color and resolution, as well as modem, network, and printer settings, amongst many other things. To access the control panel, click the Start button in the lower left corner and select Control Panel from the menu. When you first open your control panel, you'll see some of the most commonly used control panel items organized by category. To find out more information about an item in the control panel while you're in Category View, Hold your mouse pointer over the icon or category name and then just read the text that appears. To open one of these items, click its icon or category name. Some of these items will open to a list of tasks that you can perform as well as a selection of individual control panel items. For example, when you click on Appearance and Personalization, you'll see a list of tasks such as personalization of the desktop along with other personalization things customizing your taskbar, making it more user accessible. Now you can always click on any of these categories to then open the window. So if I click on personalization, I'll see these same categories that we had when we were customizing our monitor display. To go back, you can click the back button in the upper left corner. Now also notice that if you open the control panel and you don't see the item that you want to change, then you can click the classic view command in the left side of the control panel to display all of the individual items that you can change in the control panel in classic view. To open an item you would simply double click its icon. To find out more about an item in the control panel while you're in the classic control panel view, just hold your mouse pointer over the icon and read the text that appears. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high-quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy-to-use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!